Right guys, so as promised, sorry I've just woken up literally, um, as promised I didn't get to the video um, last night because I came back from work and I was chatting to some mates on Messenger and I was absolutely exhausted. So I thought I'll put it off till this morning, but I have now listened to the William Story interview on BBC Radio Newcastle and I'll just give you guys my sort of thoughts on it and see what you think from there. Um, I have looked at a bit, well I looked at a Daily Mail article about some of the history of William Story and... Um, while I probably don't have the full detail picture year by year, basically, um, his history doesn't exactly fill you with the best of confidence, does it? Um, and obviously, he's he's been he's been pretty present on social media, which to say the least. Um, I did put a tweet out saying that I think I would be prepared to give him the benefit. However, I did put a tweet out saying I would be prepared to give him the benefit of the doubt he came, and the reason for that was because. If he and I think Macam tweets said it himself also he'll be watching this video. I think his he put it the best way that if he came in and actually had the backers that he claims he does and and it's the same old thing if he delivered on what he actually claims, then I would be prepared to give him the benefit of the doubt um you know, and for me the the thing is though we've been here before with Stuart Don the, the my main skepticism, even though I am skeptic because of the you know. My scepticism isn't because of the history, even though I am a bit sceptical because of that. My main scepticism is because of the fact we've been here before with Stuart Donald. Um, we just, you know, Stuart Donald at the start claimed to care about the club and he claimed to do this, this, that and the other and claimed to do all this and this blah, 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 blah and didn't deliver on much of it and basically went hiding and disappeared after a year, you know. Um, now, William Story, if William Story did come in and you know, got the backers that he claimed he did, then fair enough, I would be prepared to at least hear him out and at least give him a chance. But, you know, and I've seen a lot of fans, you know, obviously don't agree with that, which I think is personally wrong in some respects because I don't think you should have a go at people for, you know, saying they will give him a fair chance. But I understand that people, you know, have their own scepticism. And I'm not going to say they're wrong for it. You know, his history isn't exactly the best. So I understand to an extent why people are sceptical. Like I said, my main scepticism is because of the fact that we have seen this before with Stuart Donald. William Story, for all we know, could be coming in, talking the talk. Now, is he now if he came in and did take us all, which I don't think he will, by the way, is he going to walk the walk? Is he actually going to walk the walk? Um, you know, now, to me, I don't think William Story will take Sunderland over. I don't think he will. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know anything about the deal of the club. I don't know anything about this period of exclusivity that's happening with regards to the you know, the takeover. I don't know who's going to take us over. I think I, I have an inkling it's probably going to be Juan Satori. Um, and Thane SCFC has basically summed up everything on Juan Satori. Um, just go and watch his video on it. I don't think I could literally top it. I don't think I could top what he said. Um, Juan Satori's been absent for me for two years and all he's really seemed to have done is, well... Actually, fair, one of the things William Story did say that I did agree with, that he seems to be a Uruguayan businessman and he claimed he looked like it. First, he was interested in the venture of Sunderland but very quickly disappeared the moment the presidential Uruguayan thing was taking place. And I get that that was going to be his main focus, but then since then, if we went back to last December, Charlie Methvin basically said, well, you know, we're going to see a more active role from um, Juan Satori. Still waiting, mate. Where are you? Um, you know, what's he done? What, Satori's done absolutely nothing at this club, apart from get drunk and smile a lot on camera. That's it. There's nothing else that he's actually done. So, um... Oh, I don't know. You know what it is? I'm, I'm just kind of bored of the whole takeover thing now. I'm kind of just bored of everything with Sunderland at the moment, um, especially with this stupid salary cap that's gone on that's stopped us from getting the likes of Garbutt and Fraser, which um, I'm not going to have me see on that. I'm, I'm, I'm fuming that that's happened, to be honest. But, you know... Well, I'll love you and leave you there, guys. Look, we'll wait and see what happens with William's story. Um, it's not a very good reaction. And, you know, look, it is... I don't think he'll take over the club anyway, and even if he did, you know, look, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I wouldn't be sceptical if he took over, I would have some level of scepticism there. Again, we've been here before in this exact same to which situation. William Story could, for all we know, just be another person who just talks the talk and talks the big time, and doesn't actually deliver anything when it comes to, you know, the big stage. So, we'll wait and see. I'll love you and leave you there, guys, and I'll see you later on for the SCFC Fan TV live stream, and hopefully, it's a good one.